Welcome back to Fresh. We're here on our design portion of today's show, and we are in downtown Elkhart on the corner of Maine and State. And with me is Jonathan Tuff from Garbers. How are you? Good, Courtney. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, and we're in this amazing old building that's been, you know, establishment here in downtown Elkhart, and now it is a different store, which is Your Unique Finds. You want to tell me a little bit about it? I do. Um, Your Unique Finds is here. The building was built in 1889, and it was built by um, Deb Lacey's grandfather. They have recently repurchased the building and totally restored it, putting their businesses in here. Keeping it in the family. Keeping it in the family. They have Your Unique Finds, which is um, artisan crafts mm -hmm. and antiques. They also have Wind in the Willow Woodworking and Custom Framing and Wind in the Willow Studios. Then they also, they have plenty of things going on here. They also have Art in the Heart of Elkhart, which is a nonprofit organization that helps youth with art. Great. And we're in the actual Your Unique Finds part of the store, and behind us is some of the work that's here. Tell me a little bit what they we have. Represent local artists. They have um, some of Deb's artwork. They also have a paper mache artist. They have a stained glass artist. And then they have the stuff by Chris Jaworski. Now we need to zoom in on this. This is amazing. This is all metal finds. He finds a farm on farms. He doesn't bend any of them. He finds the pieces and then puts them together into what he sees. On the turtle here, he found this piece, which looks like a turtle's head. <laughs> then he found the back or the shell and the, the feet. Put it all together. There's a hook on the back. Just neat stuff. He's got some roosters, some other pieces here too. But then the, the paintings that Deb does are just really unique. They were telling us about one here that is a pastel on sandpaper. It's a gentleman they met. He was a homeless man. And it's um, called Washington Wisdom. Very neat stuff here. Very, very unique is what it is. Your unique finds, and you'll find it here. Lots of amazing artwork displayed around the outside of here. Lots of neat arts and crafts here. All kinds of good stuff. The custom word working in the back is just, you know, top it all off to get that neat piece and do it with Dad that. offers art classes. Mm -hmm. She teaches here, plus, like I said, for the, the um, charity events, mm -hmm. too. But um, she's in an arts class right now in the back, but neat stuff and lots of different mediums she works in. Great. And you can have it framed next door. There you go. It's all right here. And it's great to see people supporting local art. And, you know, the story behind all of this that her, her, great, her grandfather, you know, built this building and then they, they've restored it. And it's been so many different things previous to this. And now they're here with this amazing art here. And it's just, it's amazing to see it all restored and up and going. And they're going to add their home upstairs. They're restoring the second floor and making that into their home, which sounds great. Lots of hard work has gone into it, and it definitely shows. And we're going to plug our little contest that we have going on here on the site. Anything going on, too? I think we do, and it's the Ugly Room Contest. Very good. Can't I, wait. I can't wait either. Again, the deadline is June 30th, and we have posted all the rules and regulations online. They should be up there as soon as possible. And Get busy sending us photos of your ugliest room. We want to see them. We want to pick the ugliest and make it great. Yes, and we've, you know, we've kind of talked about it. Submit a few photos. Not, don't give us 10 or 15. Please, please, please. We'd love to see it, but we probably don't have the time for that. Maybe one to three That's photos. Perfect. Enough we can see a couple shots of the room. Right. And then there's a questionnaire online that also needs to be filled out. Fill it out, email it back to us. We're going to evaluate that, and we're going to have so much fun. I am so, so excited for it. So that'll be up and coming. So make sure you go to the website, myfresh.tv, and you can find out all the rules and regulations there. Send your, your pictures and all that information there. Jonathan, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Courtney. It's always a good time to be with you. Your unique finds on the corner of Main and State Street. Make sure to come down, check it out. All the local art here is amazing. We'll be back after a short break, so stay tuned.